What does it take to turn a ship around? Maritime history indicates thought, communication, power, and time are all essential for a successful turn at sea. Such were some of the elements used at the Jones C. Edwards School of Medicine, where a 180 degree turn was required to save the ship from sinking in probationary waters. In June 2011, the Liaison Committee on Medical Education voted to place the educational program leading to the MD degree at Marshall University on probation. The LCME found that the school was not in compliance with nine standards, had one standard in compliance with the need for monitoring, and three standards in transition. A campaign was mounted to appeal the decision, but later that year the LCME upheld their original decision. The thought process of turning the ship around then shifted into power mode with the search for a new dean and establishing a reasonable and effective action plan. During the next six to eight months, as action plans were developed, tweaked, and finally submitted to the LCME for approval, and several key administrative positions were hired, communication and transparency became the school's elements to establish a culture of change. At Joan C. Edwards School of Medicine, the probationary status actually afforded an opportunity to change our organizational culture by empowering people to influence change and by creating a powerful sense of ownership. That ownership was cultivated by the meticulous work of eight subcommittees, which were formed based upon LCME standards of non-compliance. Some of the areas included curriculum integration, active learning, and diversity. Each subcommittee selected a chairperson and was charged with developing their specific plan. Also during this time, a standing steering committee composed of each chairperson, the dean, and the senior associate dean for education met on a bi-weekly basis. Their work formed the basis of the response to probation and also served to disseminate data publicly. Lastly, mock interviews were held for various groups selected for review based on the LCME agenda. Such practice sessions seemed to assist participants with their confidence for the actual limited visit. The good news is we've righted the ship and are heading in the right direction. In June of 2013, the LCME voted to continue the program's accreditation for the balance of the term. Marshall's next full survey will take place during the 2018-2019 academic year. Our culture change was not easy. We implemented sweeping changes in our systems that culminated in a 70-page briefing book supported by 400 pages of supporting documentation. Specifically, we tweaked our systems-based block curriculum, allowing for better horizontal and vertical integration. Additionally, our curriculum committee, long designated a recommending body, was given full authority to make curricular changes. Marshall University, after a national search, selected Dr. Joseph I. Shapiro from the University of Toledo as the school's new dean. Dr. Shapiro's commitment to basic and clinical research has led to significant new research recruitments who have designed and are leading a robust program for the school. Additionally, dynamic leaders in other pertinent areas have been selected and provided with the necessary tools to address our noted deficiencies, namely diversity, scholarship development, financial aid, and debt management. We learned a lot about our medical school, medical education, accreditation, and its processes. In many ways, we've benefited from the rich dialogue between the medical education community and the LCME. All this said, Marshall University Joan C. Edwards School of Medicine has worked diligently to avoid similar accreditation problems in the future. Now we are ready to share our experience with you.